So she was basically being a rental girlfriend for this bucktooth Timmy Turner looking bastard right here. I'm one of these two dudes are homies, bro. They both down bad. <laughs> finally watched rent a girlfriend and all i gotta say is this man kazuya might be the most down bad anime character of all time this nigga is renting booty what i just want y'all to let that shit sink in real quick this nigga is renting Gucci. This man is spending 40,000 yen on some rental booty. Hey, yo, let's convert that shit to US dollars real quick. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, uh, 40,000. Oh my fucking God. Can you imagine it's 61 dollars, my nigga? Y'all almost had a fucking heart attack. That is a whole paycheck at Walmart, my nigga. And don't even think I forgot about the excess 19 cents on the back of that bitch. This might be some of the biggest simp shit I've ever seen in my life. Hey, yo, we gotta figure out how the hell homie got so down bad. So apparently his ex, mommy. <laughs> I got a whole segment for this bitch later, but we ain't gonna get into that yet. But apparently she didn't want to do nothing with him, and she fucking dumped his ass on sight. Damn, that, that, that's kind of fucking tragic, yo. But yeah, that kind of put this man like in really deep, dark places. Like, you know, this man is smacking and whacking his meat all in his room by himself and shit. Looking at old pictures of the bitch and shit. And he ended up going to that deep, dark place in his mind and ended up deciding and told himself, you know what? I'm a rent a bitch. And voila, that's how this nigga ended up spending $361.19 on a bitch. For a rental date. My God, through all my years, I've never seen a nigga this down bad before. Like, yo, yo, th this is terrible. This man is going through a different type of post nut syndrome. I, I, I can't even describe this shit. But anyways, he meets our rental girlfriend Mizuhara, and Lord have Martha, she is bad. But God damn it, she bad as hell. But she making his pockets hurt. Make his pockets hurt. <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> Y'all, we gotta think about it. She's really milking this nigga for three hundred and sixty-one dollars, yo. <laughs> but moving on though. So he keeps on renting her and everything, and then they get in a little bit of a predicament. So his homies think that that's his real girlfriend now, and also his grandma. So yep, they gotta end up just keep on milking this shit now. Oh, what a coincidence! They both live by each other. I, I low key kind of feel bad for Cheesy Girl at this point, but I don't at the same time because yo, she getting paid, my nigga. But anyways, mm, but you know who I don't feel bad for? This bitch right here. <laughs> Ah, mommy, where do I begin with this thought? Mommy is the definition of that toxic ex that doesn't want you to have any happiness in your life. Like, how the hell are you gonna break up with this man on sight, tell him nothing about it, and just block him on everything? Like, to be honest with y'all, she is probably the reason why this man is so down bad at the moment. I mean, y'all, look at this shit right here. They was at a dinner and everything, and Mizuhara's there is causing his little fake girlfriend in there. Oh, and guess who's also there? Mommy. And oh my god, bro. She dog this man yo like oh my god look at the shit that she is saying once we kissed he wanted it every day even if lunch had been packed with garlic and then he tried to hold my hand all the time and take me to pubs that stay open late for dinner it was almost impressive just how horny he was bruh she had the whole room shook how the hell you gonna dog this man in front of everybody it got so bad the rental girlfriend had to stand up for this nigga like damn bitch and then she kept on playing with this man's emotions throughout the whole show oh my god yo the streets are calling for this hoe get the off of my goddamn screen, yo. And then we have Ruka, the character that is basically simping for the simp. That is hella interesting. So she was basically being a rental girlfriend for this bucktooth Timmy Turner looking bastard right here. I'm one of these two dudes are homies, bro. They both down bad. So she figures out that Cheeseroo's a rental and shit. And she basically forces this man to become her boyfriend. Shit, I mean, it's better than paying $361.19 for some ass. And she willing to throw it back and shit, too. But of course, we gotta remember, this is an anime. So you already know that the MC is gonna be a pussy and he's not gonna hit that boudet. Like, bruh, she was about to throw that shit back in a love hotel, bruh. And you know what his bitch ass did? Look at the little motherfucker. He like, oh my god. I gotta stay loyal to my $361.19 booty. Look at this shit. Come here. Fuck! Oh my god, 
off her. Fuck sakes, yo. If you gonna act like this, you might as well go back to your room and beat your meat for eternity, nigga. Cause you ain't getting no ass no time soon! Damn! Anime protagonist ceased to piss me off. And then we have Sumi. Now she's quite shy. I mean, she got a little bit of social anxiety and shit. And uh, she kinda can't do shit. Like, how the hell you almost bust your ass while bowling? But you know what? All that aside, she cute as fuck, yo. Oh, oh, melts my heart. <laughs> but anyways, yo, this show was actually hella good for some reason. I was not expecting a show named Rent a Girlfriend to actually be so entertaining. But you know what's kind of crazy, though? I looked this shit up, and this is a real thing. What? You can actually rent a girlfriend in Japan. I swear, yo, if I actually see one of y'all do this shit, I'ma fucking hit y'all. Anyways, uh, I'ma take my leave. Uh, I'ma head out.